Welcome back to Prey Mooncrash. I decided to play as Riley Yu next, now that we've unlocked their story objective. I want to actually complete their story objective. However, I did make a mistake. I meant to reset the simulation since we escaped as Claire Witten. I forgot to do that. So now I'm entering in on corruption level 3, which isn't the worst. In fact, I should probably go to the menu so I pause that. Um, yeah, corruption level 3, midway through, not the worst, but definitely not the most ideal thing, especially because, well, I kind of looted, like, everything, so I'm going to find very little loot. Thankfully, this character has a really good offensive um, psi ability, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Might be bad. I'm definitely not going to find very many, if any, neuromods, unfortunately. Okay, I've gotten into a fight with a moon shark. It's arguable how good of an idea that is. I'm gonna say probably not a very good idea. In fact, I'm bleeding now and I don't have any med kits. But if I can kill it, that means I can walk across this place in peace. Which is really important because the fact that I'm entering in on the second run through without resetting the simulation means the beginning of the level doesn't have an Artex propulsion system. Which means I can't really effectively dodge the moon shark. I have to basically walk on the ground. So please don't kill me. Come on, come on, reset, reset. Ah, oh. nice. Okay. By the way, I discovered more about how bleeding works. I don't think I ever showed this on camera. Um, well, for one, it's disgusting how you can hear like wet squelching noises and you actually leave bloody footprints, which is super cool, but also disgusting. But also more importantly, it doesn't actually cause you to take more damage unless you do certain actions. So if you just simply walk on the ground, you're fine, you won't take more damage. But if you do anything that's kind of considered strenuous, like um, like pulling yourself up to something, or like landing from a height, jumping, that sort of thing. If you do anything like that, or sprint as well, if you sprint, you also take damage. So basically you're doomed to simply walk, which actually really, really sucks. Oh, wait a minute. I bought one of everything, don't I? Didn't I? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, fuck me. My memory marker is up here at the top of the control tower, which means I gotta get through all this electricity. Ah, uh, unless... Uh, no. I was thinking I could maybe find a way up. If I had, like, a glue gun or something, I could maybe find a way up there to the rafters. Oh, shit! To the rafters, um, without going down here, but I don't have a propulsion system and I don't have a glue gun, so that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Shortcut. No, what are you doing? Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, sure. That's great. Unfortunately, none of my powers actually affect non-biological opponents, which is especially bad because I've learned that at the command center there is always two or three evil robots. So I could really actually use a body, and in fact, I think there's a body over here. And I can use a body because of Phantom Genesis. Ew! Jesus! It's terrifying! Well, it's voltaic, that's appropriate. Unfortunately though, it's gonna hurt me if I get near it. Um, hmm. I think it follows me, but will it follow me up the elevator? Uh, it is going to hurt me when it gets close, right? No? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, good. I see some weapons over there. Uh, oh god, this is going to hurt. Ow. Okay. I don't think I have any ammo for them, though, do I? Oh, actually I do, especially the pistol. I forgot that I bought pistol ammo in the loadout screen. Okay. Yeah, thank you. That really helps. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. 
Let's go. Oh, this is gonna suck. I just, I'm just gonna hope my buddy is gonna come up and help me. Did my buddy come up? No? Okay, well, I guess I'm fine anyway. Alright, here's a memory marker. Hey, Riley. It's Noel Benson. I think we're... Ah, Benson. You're new, aren't you? Well, I... Of course you are. Your shuttle arrived on December 3rd, a transfer from our North office. Before that, you worked as an adjunct on various unremarkable grant projects, none of which entitles you to address me in such a familiar way. I didn't mean... It's Madam Director or Dr. Yu. Choose one. Uh, yes, Doc... Uh, Director Yu. Uh, please forgive me. Now, what do you have for me? I just wanted to report that the crater towers are ready for a full-scale test. Did you solve the power supply? Uh, yes. W well, nearly so. The control modules burn out after each activation. Uh, but the results are positive. All the Typhon in the vicinity are completely destroyed all at once. What about human subjects with Typhon-based neuromods? We ran several tests on P00. Once the subject had more than a few neuromods installed, they were destroyed. Same as the Typhon. Good work, Dr. Benson. I want to activate the towers myself for the full-scale test. Yes, Madam Director. I believe Dr. Boyle is on her way right now with the control modules. That's... strange. Dr. Boyle? Claudette? God, the face is terrifying. Was that the, uh... What the hell? Please go back to your own plane of existence, thank you. Was that the start of the outbreak that Benson just experienced? Just walking away and then... Blarg. Okay, so there's a tower somewhere that when activated will burn out all the control modules but kill all the Typhon in the in the uh, surrounding area, but also it's going to kill me because I'm considered a Typhon. So that's going to be an issue. I assume my goal is to activate it. Well, find control modules. Okay, well I can just take some from the bottom of this place. Just turn the power off in some areas. Alright, just disabled Moonworks. Now I've got to install the two modules. It says it's actually in Crater. So it should be just... Oh right, more electricity. <laughs> I get hurt every time I go through here. So where exactly is the tower? Have I Like, has it always been there and I just never particularly noticed it? Or I wonder, now that I'm in this memory, maybe the simulation's going to be more complete and the tower will be visible? Duh. Yeah, there's really no way around it. I'm going to take damage. <laughs> God, I wish I had a propulsion system. I started leaving this place only to realize that where I needed to go was just back up to the control tower. That's it? Okay. So this is the tower? Does that mean I need to get the hell out of here then? Because, again, I am considered a Typhon. It will kill me. Like, is this the thing? It just looks like a standard dish. Wait, that might... I think that's it, right there. Yeah, that looks like what they showed in the drawing. What just saw me? Okay, so it's, it's pretty far away. I should be fine. 
just in case I do die, let's spend my Neuro Mods. Let's get Neuro Stimulant 2. Increases the effectiveness of Psy Hypos by 100%. From 50 to 100. Hi. <laughs> Damn. So... Is this a thing I can just do now? Aside from just being a story objective, I wonder if I can just do this now with any character. If there's super strong enemies in the area, I could just activate this and take them out. Interesting. Oh, it actually forcefully ejects the control modules. Wow. That seems dangerous. What if you get hit in the head by one? Alright, let's head to, I guess, the shuttle or something and escape. Right, so I don't think I can actually really plausibly escape as Riley Yu, actually. Because I'm a Typhon, so I can't get through Typhon gates. I can stop the Typhon gates with electricity. Never mind, actually. I have an EMP charge. I was about to say, I can't find a disruptor gun, a stun gun, and I probably never will because I've already picked up pretty much everything playing as Claire Witten, but actually... This EMP charge actually might save me. Here we go, coming in hot. Whew, nice. What just happened? I scared the shit out of me. Jump scare thermal phantom. Ow. Shit. I'm almost dead. Come on, come on, come on. Oof. Oh, if that hit me, I'd be dead. I still hear things. Is there another one? I think I need a friend. to death. Oh, I think there might have been water or something on the ground. So, I think why I've been a little bit confused about whether the uh, whether the staticky friendly phantoms can hurt you or not is they can't hurt you directly. But I think if they're over water, they'll electrify the water and the water or liquid or whatever can hurt you. I think that's what happened, maybe. Anyway, well, I didn't escape, but still I got a bunch of points thanks to among other things, the story objective. So it's fine. We definitely made our money back and more. Playing as Claire Witten this time, trying to do their story objective. So I've arrived at the memory marker, which is, if you remember, where we were playing as, I think it was VJ at the time? Yeah, it was VJ. We went here and like downloaded a virus file thing and activated a neurotoxin and we had to go get the, uh, the antidote back at the beginning of the game. So that's that whole area here in Moonworks. Claire, this is Basilisk. Orbital Intercept M13 tells us there is elevated activity on all Trans Star security channels. We think you've been compromised. We need you to destroy all evidence of your operations. I'll contact you soon with further instructions. Basilisk out. Understood. How do I do that? Destroy transponder. Can use a recycler or a recycler charge to destroy your Cosmo listening devices.
Do I have one? I don't. <laughs> That's an issue. So I guess I can just take it with me for now and then just drop it and destroy it when I find a recycler charge. So, something cool that we get to do as Claire Witten, now that we can hack, is remember all these shipping containers? Some of them were locked. I just unlocked a bunch of them. First one. Narrow mods. Vital supplies. Nice. And then I unlocked both of these. Laser turret. Ballistic turret. Got some turret friends. Med supplies. Curious about the laser turret. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before, have I? Let's go test it out. See if it'll shoot that cystoid nest up there. Hmm, having a hard, hard time with the cystoids, but pretty cool looking. Clear the area. There you go, buddy. You can do it. <laughs> it's really cool looking. Here, let me help you out. And I think there might be a super special one up there. Can I, like, unlock Attention that one? Everyone. Oh, it's actually open on the back. Material shipments to oh, hey. One, including H3 fuel canisters Wait, is this just the other side of the one I've already opened? It is. <laughs> I do want up there to get in that one, though. I don't have a glue gun. Hmm. I have an idea. Heck yeah, it worked! Anti-rads and a couple things. Okay, not that exciting. Ooh, Neuromod. Yeah, there's some really good stuff here. If I'm playing as Claire Witten, I definitely need to come here. That's it for the stacked ones. What about this? Psycholic Converter? That's new. When the psi meter is empty, powers will consume health instead, but at an increased rate. That sounds terrible. Unless you're extraordinarily desperate and you just happen to have tons of medkits, but absolutely no uh, psi hypos, then I guess that could be great, but 99% of the time, that would be totally useless. I've got enough neuromods to get mobility 2. Gain the ability to sprint with ludicrous speed and to jump incredibly high. That sounds amazing. Let's test it out. Right, so it doesn't affect your walking speed, only sprinting speed, right? <laughs> wow, that is fast. <laughs> Shall I jump? Whoa, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Wow. Wow. That is super nice. At some point, I picked up a recycler charge, so let's go ahead and use it. I know we have to get rid of the transponder. I'm wondering if we have to get rid of the command key as well. It doesn't say so in the quest, but it says we need to, like, remove all evidence of us. And our, our things, you know, hacking and whatnot that we've been doing. So I guess I'll just try to do both. Okay, it didn't disappear, so I guess I do have to keep it. I figured it would protect me against that. Destroy second listening device. Ah, there's more. Right. De destroy first listening device. Okay, so we gotta go all over the place. Gotcha. You know, I don't think I've ever been able to get inside of Brian Chung's office. Right now it's broken. I can't repair it, of course. You can break the glass, but there's bars. However, I have... An ability. I have remote manipulation. So I can just kind of yoink anything that I want. Yep. No, I definitely don't want the chair. Oh, I don't have... I don't have the range to uh, get all the way back there. I did see, though, that I had the range to do this. Two neuromods? Thank you. Can I just, like, remotely use... 
Oh, whoa, that's cool. I wondered how this would work. Of course, I don't actually have the things to make anything, but... Neat. I don't mean to be a spoil sport, but... Given how many times I've been down here, I suspect there aren't actually four briefcases. You know, just... just a hunch. Got five more neural mods. Let's spend that on stealth two. Walk and run without making noise. Also, I'm now at uh, crew annex. Yeah, crew annex, almost to the listening device in Alex Yu's office. Where are you? Will it attack my copy? Think it did? I'm not sure. Here's the Cosmo listening device instead of Alex Yu's safe. You want to see me? Ah yes. Officer Batia. Come in. You have a son in the AIL, is that right? Yes sir. That's right. You must be proud of him. I am. Maybe we can find a place for him on the Transtar security team one day, hmm? <laughs> I'm sure he'd be honored. Um, was there something you needed? Straight to it. I like that about you, VJ. Here, what would you make of this? This is... It's a surveillance device. And? It's one of ours. Did you get this from security? No. I found it here, in my room. Sir, I have never given no, an order to... I don't suspect you. I wouldn't have called you in if I did. But maybe another member of your team, perhaps acting on someone else's orders. I trust my people. I can't imagine any of them doing this. That's the problem, isn't it? Sir? We imagine too little. Picture what it would take for one of your men to betray you. How they would do it. Why? Imagine if you failed to detect them. Then imagine my disappointment. I'll get to the bottom of this, Mr. Yu. You have my word. <laughs> I'm sure you will. That's all, Officer Batia. You can leave that here with me. I hate Alex Yu. Really, it just seems like the whole Yu family is pretty rotten. At least all the ones we've seen. Let's... Let's phantom shift and try to kill that thing. destroy this thing. Please let me switch weapons, please. Why can't I switch weapons? Okay, I'm out. That's not going well. Try number two. I could just jump up here and get inside. Hello. Hi. Scanning. Oh, I see it over there. I'm afraid most of the organics are locked down at the moment. Are you going down or? Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, second listening device is up here in the control tower. 
Oh, I also wanted to spend my narrow mods on sneak attack two. Do 250% damage to enemies while they're unaware of you instead of 200. Right, it explodes. Oh, listening devices up here. That's appropriate. Um, well, I guess there's no reason to take it, right? Well, I guess just for the sake of the quest, I'll take it. This? No, first time. Am I that obvious? Don't worry, we're safe up here. The volunteer will come in first, right over there, followed by the Typhon, which this week is uh, Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Is there any risk of an outbreak? Nah, the Typhon gates keep everything locked down. But what about the Voltaic kind? Wouldn't an EMP disrupt the- Oh, we don't let those into the crater. That would be a disaster. It's just a little surreal, you know? Being here on the moon, under a dome, aliens, people with psychic abilities. Yep, it's like it's not even real. That is literally what I just said. I know, I'm just messing with you. Ready? I think Li Fang would really annoy me, being around them, just based on that little snippet. They seem really annoying. What did I just get? Was it the crit chip? Huh. Alright, let's destroy this thing. Oh, guess I can also use this. Alright, Claire. We've learned that Director Yu is planning to duplicate her personality onto an operator using Transtar's emulation tech. OC is fairly certain she'll launch the operator as an emergency measure afterwards. We need you to hide your command key on that operator. Your key has a few programs that will hijack the emulation process and make the experience terminal. It'll look like an accident. <laughs> And then, when the operator launches, we'll scoop it up. So that, yeah, Alex had nothing to do with that. The fact that Riley Yu was killed right after completing the memory extraction thing into the operator. They made it so that it would kill her. And then they're just going to take the operator after the fact. Which is the operator that I got as Peter and put into the thing to start the simulation, right? We're still working on an exit strategy for you. I'm sorry. Everyone is scrambling up here. We've lost contact with our assets on Talos 1. I'm sure things aren't much better on the moon. Good luck. Hide command key and data vault operator Pythia Slabs. Okay. Pythia Slabs does have power, right? Yeah, okay. I still don't have a stun gun, but I... Do, ah, no, I don't even have an EMP charge. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just go kill whatever's nearby. I'm not considered a Typhon. Thank God. I got up to this thing for, I think, the first time ever. And it has a stun gun. Exactly what I need, because I'm finding it impossible to deal with these tentacle nests. Let's go ahead and spend my eight neuro mods on Stealth 3 Sprint without making noise. I figured while I was here in the Pythias Labs, I might as well hack this computer and see what it can do with the Mimic Portal. Capsule Door Controls. Stabilize Gate. Um, gate stabilization can be maintained for up to 30 seconds. Press this button to stabilize the interdimensional gate. 30 seconds. Let's see what happens. Oh, like I can escape through that. Right. Well, we're definitely not doing that right now. Capsule door must be repaired. Right. That's this thing. 
So how do we get Andreas through this then? Well, I guess now that we've hacked the computer, it's just open, right? Yeah, so as long as we hack the computer as Claire would, then we can go into it as Andreas and it'll just still be hacked. Right, so yeah, we still do still do need to do the Claire Wood needs to hack the computer, and Joanne Winslow needs to repair the thing, and then we need to play as Andreas to get through it. Let's see what kind of emails we got here, though. Urgent. Um, you remember that guy from Talos? I think his name was Dr. Mannion. He had a hypothesis about how mimics copied things. You're acting mysterious. I get worried when you act mysterious. Uh, I think I mostly remember you making fun of him. Is he the guy who said he, um, they weren't actually copying, they were swapping places with objects in a parallel universe or something? Bingo. Just call me ASAP. Sending mimic for isolation. We saw this email from the other side. Ugh. Laser time. Where did... Oh. Wow, it fit through there? That's impressive. I'm just rolling in neuromods, my god. Um, well, there's almost nothing more to get in the Cosmos Spy tree. There's this thing about the uh, psychostatic cutter. I'm really not too interested in that, though. That's going to be the last thing I do. So, instead, let's get Remote Manipulation 2. Basically, it gives me double the distance from 10 meters to 20 meters, and this is actually not unlocked. I guess I'll get Psychic Edge 1. Gotta hide the thing in the data vault operator. The... no, not that. Command key? Claire. I'm very sorry. OC is... They're saying they can't dedicate any assets for dust-off, and I... There's just nothing I can do. I'm sorry. You're on your own. Basilisk out. Cold. I mean, not for Basilisk, but from the company. Wow, but that's very resisted. Yeah, I'm out of here. That's doing like nothing to them. They've detected that I'm doing some bad stuff, so... Run! One, suit integrity damaged. Oh god, this doesn't work. My objective is just straight up escape from Pythias Labs, okay? Well, if we can't use the tram, then I guess we're going down. Wait, not escape pods. Uh, this way? This way. Good thing I can run so fast. There we go. Story objective complete. Just needed to escape from Pythia's labs. Oh god. Whoa. Wonderful. Now my shotgun is exploded. Just made a sprint for the shuttle. Get some bonus points. I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. 
So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to make what I believe is the final push for the last story objective. Yeah, Andreas, I need to unlock their story objective first, and then actually do their story objective, which is going to be fairly tricky. I haven't played as them as in forever. They were the very first character I played as, and I only played as them once, hence why they have almost nothing unlocked, so I'm going to buy tons of neural mods with all my sim points. And to get through the Mimic Portal, I have to first play as... I, either Joanne or Winslow, let's just say I do Joanne first. I gotta get to the Pythias Labs and repair the door on the Mimic Portal. So I'll be doing that as fast as possible. And then in the same run, place Claire Witten, get to the same place, and hack the computer. Also as fast as possible. And then play as Andreas. And then I'll actually be able to go through the Mimic Portal. So it's gonna be pretty challenging. <laughs>